previously on the season. Can you please find your kicking tee? Because I'm not buying anymore. So just go out there, work together and just have a real good crack and you will get away with the win. There's a reason you are undefeated this season. All we've got to do is 15 people have to play at their best or a touch better and we're in. That's all right, that's all right, that's all right. It's got to get in and out and out quicker yeah. than that. But we've got to be tough and we've got to be t as tough as we've ever been in our life. The Gold Coast rocks to the ferocious battle cries of TSS and Nudgy. Much like the action on the field, the spoils are currently shared between the two great rivals. Get up, get up! There you go. At one end of the field, the nudgy captain has a familiar figure contributing to the noise. Get up! Troy Hunt and his wife Teresa yeah. have travelled half the country to be here today. We can go. Usually after his last game, we usually uh, check out the flights, uh, what's the cheapest option, and um, yeah, book it. Uh, it's probably something that we uh, look forward to every week, especially with the weather here in uh, Brisbane. That's our weekly process. We only have one son, and you know we want to make sure as parents that. Uh, we can give him every possible opportunity there is and making sacrifices and so be it. You know, that's what you do as parents. I guess I'm really grateful for that. Sometimes I don't show them. But they gave up a lot for me just to see every single game that I played for Nudgy and that's something that I'll cherish for the rest of my life. It was just a special moment for me to see my dad and my mum before the game and just have a chat with them and just, just to see them just made me want to play that extra bit better for them. As soon as he steps over that line onto the field, it's, it's all about passion. You know, these last two years with, with Nudgy, uh, we've just seen him mature into, into the young man he is today. He's become a very independent young man, doesn't take things for granted, understands about responsibilities, and, and I think the school, it turns young boys into fantastic young men, and we've seen that with him, and we're so grateful and so proud, especially being the captain of Nudgy. It's, for our family, it's a huge honour, and one that we are really grateful. Okay. The parental support is unwavering, the effort unparalleled, but the nudgy scrum is coming under enormous pressure. For Tom Ford, it is too much to bear. It's that sense of hopelessness you get because you're fit, you're able to play the biggest game of the season and all you can do is sit on the sideline in a uniform and watch nothing you can do, nothing you can do to help. When we're down this end, good kick off, no dumb penalties, keep them down here. Just keep talking to them about when we've got the ball running hard, mate. The misconversion is a temporary blip on the radar as the Southport machine kicks up another gear. Despite our efforts to to stop them. We were defending that most of that second half and all the ball they had with their attacking flair in the backs and you know hard running through the forwards. We just gotta dig deep. Dig deep. Hope something comes our way, yeah. Smalley come on. We'd win the premiership if we draw. Yeah, we can still win through there. Still. We don't want to draw. Short kick, short kick off. You get one. You'll get one kick. You, you should get the footy one more time. Yeah, yeah. And then at the death, the best defensive team in the GPS suffers an uncharacteristic lapse. and the undefeated season is gone.
Yeah, yeah look, that was worth a try, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I was disappointed in the result of the game, but I wasn't disappointed in the team's efforts. I guess that's just rugby, and no one goes throughout their rugby career without losing a game, so I guess that's just a part of the game. Look, we want to say a few words today before you go to the crowd, because really proud of the effort. Like, that was so tough, and unfortunately, we couldn't achieve what we wanted to with our game plan, where we just had no ball. We had to tackle for 35 minutes, and like, to me, the defensive effort was absolutely outstanding. The scoreline doesn't really flat, flatter us. The good thing for us, though, is this. We're still alive. All we've got to do now is get our mind on next week. Because if we win next week, we just share a premiership. That goes in the book. No one looks at it and goes, oh, you know, you want it by yourself or you want it with someone else. It's a premiership. Losing hurts. And for us, the first time this year, we've, we've been hurt. But what do we want to make sure on is that doesn't affect us to the stage where we think, oh, you know, it's all over. Certainly not all over. Now, next week for us is a massive, massive focus. So we're going to hold our head up high and walk over to the crowd and thank them for their support. The Premiership is not lost, but for now, the war cry is unfamiliar. Well, it was definitely the toughest game I've ever played and then to see all the seniors in their last ever game against TSS, potentially they were really down and really hurting, so that definitely hurt me a lot more. Yeah, they were gutted, but those kids are smart enough to understand that the, the quicker they pick themselves up, the quicker they can prepare for the next week and obviously that enhances your chance of winning. the disappointment of last week's game, the team has regathered to focus on the final fixture of the season. I know right now it seems like you're on top of the world and, and this is never going to end, end and, and it's the best thing ever and it, it is boys and, and really enjoy it um, but make sure you, that you just acknowledge that you know it's a finite time you get to be at this school and, and play rugby for Nudgy and you know you, you'll know about the old boys, you'll know about the premierships and all those stories but at the same time it's important that the guys in this room acknowledge that it's not my time anymore, it's not the old boys' time anymore. You boys have got a chance tomorrow and you've had a chance all year to write your own bit of history. And I think um, so far you boys have, have written it extremely well and, uh, and you'll get your own chance to, to finish that tomorrow. <laughs> Both Southport and Nudgee are equal first. Both must win to share the premiership. But the emotional weight may not come from the title within reach, but from another source. So if we all just pick up the jelly beans. So for some of us tonight, it's our last one. And um, I just want to say personally, it's been a privilege to play with all of you boys and to be coached by wonderful coaches. And this is something that we'll never forget. So what are we going to do? The fact that it is, for some, the last game in the blue and white. Some boys been here since grade five. Um, it obviously mean a lot to them, so trying to keep emotions in check. How does Francis fall asleep every single time? I don't know, that's so uncomfortable. Yeah, good morning, Francis. No one is underestimating the task at hand. State High are the reigning champions, and their venue is one of the many factors that could affect the outcome. It's just a tough place to go. It's it's isolated. It you know it can blow 30 knots. It can be hot as Hades. Let's go all the way through. All the way through. Get through. All the way through. So a couple of things. 70 minutes worth. They might be all right for 25, 35, 40. 
They might be all right for longer than that if we give them a sniff. But what you want to do is block that out and eventually their belief will start diminishing as that game goes on. Good luck, hey? The biggest challenge for us, for those boys, was lifting them from the massive disappointment of the TSS loss. The State High have got exceptionally talented boys there. State High do lift the nudgy, and they've been a bogey team for us over the last 10 years. With TSS expecting to defeat Churchy in East Brisbane, all eyes are on Thurston Field as a Premiership title hangs in the balance. Hey Warren, uh, Thursden Road. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, so it is state high. Of the many staff present, no one has more at stake or more to do than rugby director Sean Graham. I wear a number of different hats in this role and I feel like I'm finding new hats to put on each year. <laughs> Come on, keep going, keep going. Head towards the post. I've got a family at home and obviously that's my priority, but nudgy rugby means a lot to me. It's more than just a job. OK, regardless of the result today, we are enjoying ourselves. Let's turn it around, let's run in. We'll go a line out running in. Probably on the 40. We field 38 rugby teams here at Nudgy College, and so on a home game, we usually have every one of those teams playing uh, at home, which is which is excellent and brings the whole community together. Finish it, finish it. For Graham, the responsibility of running the program carries an intangible benefit that is beyond value. You know, it's emotional. It's um, that's what sport is, though. It's so fun and, and unpredictable. That's why people keep coming back. You can't predict the outcome, and that's what's. That's what's so special about it. Another loyal spectator, Deputy Principal David Johnston, is a passionate student of the game, but also one of its loudest. Yeah, the principal doesn't sit next to me anymore for a good reason. I really get carried away at the moment, and I make no apologies for that. I, I love watching them play. Ooh, that's, that is good. Now get over him. He dropped that, he dropped that. Come on! Thank you. Oh, what? Come on, heads up, boys, heads up. I know how hard they fight for it, and, and I want to be the person there to, I guess, scream and, and enjoy what's happening. Look, I'm a passionate supporter, vocal, uh, one-eyed, and uh, I love seeing them play. It was interesting because I suppose we were fortunate in that Southport had lost prior to playing us. And that eased that incredible pressure. So, you know, we knew then that that last game was our premiership. It was like playing a grand final in a competition where there's no grand final. And it was playing a grand final against a team that was going to be really dangerous, but probably not as dangerous as some of the other teams in the competition. Does he sport it? Come on, mate. Yes. Even if he, he gets it, even if you're going up at the same time, they're hitting into him, unless you're going to slow him down. Our line has been fine so far, just keep using those same options, right? Eh? If Jungler gets it, Shep gets it, all right, and they get caught, we need to be there to help. We've had some unbelievably inspiring defence so far. we just got to dig as deep as we've ever dug, that's what we're going to do, and just win that fight of 35 minutes. Get on, Francis, get on him, get on him! The final half of football of the year turns out to be the best yet. Great work, Bailey. Oh, you've got to keep going, got to keep going. That means nothing. Let's go. Despite the team hitting a purple patch, the season will finish the way it started for one of its veterans. Yeah, just stepped and then just felt it pop and give way. And immediately I just fell straight to the ground, reached for my knee. And I did think it was bad because I felt that pop and, and heard it as well. We walked over um, behind the goalpost in front of where 
the Nudgy boys were sitting and they all stood up and gave me a round of applause when I went, went past and I gave them the thumbs up. You know, I move on pretty quickly and just try and focus on getting it sorted, seeing the doctors and stuff and figuring out what I can do to, you know, prevent further injury and to better the one I have at the moment. Oi, you can actually have modern just here. remember, injury, injuries are part of the game. In five years' time, you'll be thinking about you'll be thinking about this premiership, and not your knee. Your knee will be will get fixed. Okay, just try to enjoy this next 15 minutes. Enjoy the moment. Yeah! In a game like rugby union, injuries play a cruel hand in a player's season. Xavier Solly's knee gave way in the first 60 seconds of game one, and despite Harry Cannon's serious on-field collision. It doesn't prevent either player from enjoying the last march to glory. I fractured my cheekbone, my eye socket, and just up here behind my, in front of my ear. And it was a real, it was a bad break. So the rehabilitation was I had to get surgery. I ended up having 13 screws and three plates put in my eye socket and cheekbone to rearrange it all. I just remember walking up and down the sidelines with like a an insanely swollen face, just every step hurt, but I could just feel like the boys were putting it out there for me and I was just made the attempt just to show up. Oh, it kicked to him, for goodness sake. Despite Nudgy pulling away on the scoreboard, there is still a performance standard that the coaching team expects the players to maintain throughout the whole 70 minutes. Boys. Benny. Yeah, mate. Can we just calm down? We don't rush things down here. And just make sure we keep calm. In attack, we're going to hang on to the pill. We're not going to throw balls off the green. But with minutes to go and a seemingly unassailable lead, the Nudgee rugby community can be forgiven for getting ahead of themselves. When are we safe? Like, are we safe here? <laughs> when are we safe, Pop? Just keep the ball and be patient, please. In the final minute of play, Thomas Blackmore seals the season and the Premiership. Go Blackie! Go Blackie! Yes! 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 yes. 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 There's no last minute defensive effort or a penalty goal in the dying seconds. For once, the team can soak in the moment and celebrate the victory. Oh, thanks Bernie, how good's that? Fantastic, oh. great season. <laughs> yeah, really oh, just bloody yeah. wonderful. That's it. They're, a, they're a great side. They, they are really a good are, side. You know. We won, we won! <laughs> yeah, we won the game! Thanks very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, oh mate, they played really well today. Oh mate, oh, I've been waiting nine weeks to smile. <laughs> Good on you, pal. Thanks, too. Very good on you, mate. Thanks, That's mate. Awesome. Cheers, mate. What a way to go. Oh, it's good. Hey. Mwah. Hey, how are you? Oh, <laughs> For the first time all year, the players face their school, knowing the Premiership is sealed and the 2017 season is over. The victory providing a far sweeter taste to another lifelong nudging memory. Oh. oh, how good, sir. <laughs> Every kid who plays rugby, whether it's in the A's, B's, C's or D's, wants to be in that first 15 premiership team. It's a very special thing to secure a premiership and they'll, they'll be incredibly proud of what they've done and justifiably so and also for the school. You know, it's incredible support there and to see the, the kids in the crowd and how they felt as well. It's not just the team that feels good after that win. <laughs> it's a celebration of a collective effort, a trophy which many hands deserve to hold aloft and the Southport School will deservedly share. Hey! Two here, mate. <laughs> How good's that? Unreal, mate. With a team? Unreal. <laughs> is, that, is that your first one? Yeah, as head coach. So I got 3 2 and 1. But that feels fantastic. Thanks, so, sir. Oh, thank you. Great game, mate. Well done. Awesome year. Well done. Hello, mate. Enjoy it. Enjoy it, eh? Enjoy it. But for now, it's about acknowledging the many people who have contributed to the season.
congratulations to everyone on the 41st Premiership for Nudgee College. Today was, you know, a nervous occasion, but really fitting that again we played really, really well and finished on such a high note. I've got to make Bully's day today, so here we go. Right, eh? Everyone knows he's well known for his puns. It was a way for him to make things a little bit less serious, and he, he did that really well. With puns, they're, they're, they're safe enough to use in the classroom, and the, there's an intellectual component to them. I, I don't think they're that funny, to be honest. I, I don't get them half the time. <laughs> he, um, he always says a pun after a game. Uh, today, we moseled on down to Carino. <laughs> We, we won a GPS Premiership, but what I liked about today was that it was no small feat. <laughs> we stayed in the hunt. <laughs> we didn't get bullied. <laughs> Although it was a bit of a jangling act. <laughs> We kept going forward. <laughs> Above all else, it was no fluke. <laughs>